I am going to add cannibalism to Minecraft, as well as different ways to cook and flavor your fellow Minecraft players, and even let you cook the mobs around you into yummy dishes like this spaghetti and villager meatball. But first, I need to explain why you'd even resort to cannibalism, since it definitely shouldn't be your first option. It all started with me trying to add vertical slabs to Minecraft. At first, I wanted to just rotate the regular slab crafting recipe, but this is already the recipe for crafting long blocks. So instead, I made it so that when your hunger bar is empty, you can eat blocks bite by bite like they're a cake. If you don't like your blocks raw, I made it so that you can mine and cook them. They'll be steaming hot when you take them out of the furnace, but you can eat it no problem. Here's what this animation looks like to other players. You can even make sandwiches out of blocks, like with this sand sandwich. If you eat a nether portal, your stomach will get transported to the nether. This means your hunger bar is gone since you obviously can't eat anymore, and you'll have to build a portal and go to the nether to get it back. But you'll need to move quickly, because while you're dilly-dallying in the overworld, your stomach will have started growing into the nether. Blocks around it will become made out of you and your shirt, and new plants will grow that are made with your DNA. You can break your stomach to get it back, but this will destroy the ecosystem around it. After I made this, I realized that every block fills your hunger bar up the same amount, even though some blocks should have way more calories than others. Like this coal block obviously contains a lot of caloric energy, and so does this TNT block. And even blocks like dirt probably have little worms wriggling around, which make them more filling. And on the flip side, blocks like stone or glass probably don't have very many calories. Which is probably why no one eats them in real life. So I looked up how many calories are in a block of coal, and realized I'd have to find a way to represent 7 million calories in-game. I could just make eating a coal block fill up your entire hunger bar, and give you saturation, but adding 6.999 million more hunger bars is much funnier. Unfortunately, this is unplayable, and will even roll over into the rest of your screen. So I decided to add an actual stomach to Minecraft to keep track of your calories. If you make your Minecraft skin transparent, you can see you now have a real stomach organ inside of you. Eating fills up your stomach, and it'll actually keep track of what you're eating, because the bigger your stomach gets, the bigger you'll get. Being larger obviously gives you more health, but you'll also be able to access additional stomach inventory like a chest, where items will slowly be dissolved by your stomach acid. It's like having a built-in trash can. You can still sprint, but your ankles will swell up, which will break any boots you have on. Luckily, you can craft this mobility scooter that totally solves the problem. They even work with Elytra, and this animation is just so satisfying and so fun to play with, and it looks great from every angle. Also, one of my favorite games is this skiing simulator called Steep, where you can do ski tricks. So when you're in the air on a mobility scooter, I let you press R for roll, which lets you do tricks in the air. For now, you can only spin around, and press spacebar to do a crazy handstand. If you don't eat enough, you and your stomach will shrivel up, and at some point, you'll look just like a skeleton. This is what your stomach inventory will look like then, by the way. Obviously, if you're walking around looking like this, you're going to be pretty desperate for anything to eat. So desperate that you might even consider your friend. But first, you should consider the other mobs around you. Since eating is more important in this mod, I made it so that all the mobs in Minecraft now drop their raw meat except for the blaze, which drops bee lays. Most mob meat can be cooked and eaten, but iron golem meat gets smelted into iron golem ingots, which you can use to craft iron golem tools like these, and iron golem blocks, which are obviously used to build iron golem golems. Slime meat will stick your mouth together when you eat it, which means any messages you send in chat will be muffled. Minecraft already has ground, but you can now combine it with meat to make ground meat. 
Here, I'm getting some villager meat from my villager farm and turning it into ground villager meat. And then shaping it into a ball to make villager meatballs. Now, I just have to unalive this new spaghetti mob to get spaghetti meat. And I've made spaghetti and villager meatballs. You can place it down in a cauldron to attract villagers and other spaghetti mobs, or feed it to villagers to tame them. But what if there are genuinely no mobs around? You'd have to resort to making player meatballs out of your good friends. If you're starving, both players and mobs will start to look like yummy, scrumptious food. Which means you'll be able to right-click them and eat them like cake. If you get bitten, you can fill in your missing chunk with any block. Including weirdly shaped blocks like anvils. You can use this to your advantage as an extra inventory slot, but it will look like this to everyone else. If you don't have any friends to eat, I mean play with, I added these tribes of isolated players for you to eat and get eaten by. These tribes make all their stuff out of players, like these Steve torches and Steve anvils. And Minecraft lacks furniture, so I even added Steve couches and Steve tables, which look great on these Steve hair carpets. To loot these cool new decorations without anyone getting mad at you, you can eat the whole tribe away. Or just scare them off with like an apple or something. That was a cannonball tribe, but what if I told you I also just added regular cannonballs? You can fire them out of cannons, which generate in villages. They're powerful for stopping raids, and they're so heavy that you can also drop them from high up to dent the floor. If you drop two together, you'll quickly realize that these cannonballs love to eat each other. And if you place a bunch of cannonballs in an enclosed area, that's what they'll do. When they're full, they'll stop eating each other, and will instead build a cannonball society, where the baby cannonballs go to cannonball school, the adult cannonballs work at corporate offices like Cannonball Amazon, where they send packages to the Amazon. And on Sundays, they all go to Cannonball Church and worship the original cannonball. You can interact with a cannonball like it's a villager, but they don't offer anything to trade since they are just cannonballs. I know you're wondering, what do they eat at cannonball restaurants like Papa Cannonball John's? And the answer is Cannonball Pizza. If you eat this, you'll unlock cannonball armor, which makes your punches much heavier and have much more momentum, so you can do cool stuff like this. That about wraps up my Minecraft 1.21 cannonballs and cannonballs update. I was going to do a segment on mad cow disease because I think it's related to cannibalism, and I even got as far as making this mad cow, but then I read the Wikipedia article for it and scared myself so you won't suffer any consequences for eating the flesh of your fellow players. If you liked having a real-life stomach organ, or villager spaghetti, or any other feature in this mod, make sure to like the video. I'm adding marriage so I can add divorce for Valentine's Day next time, so subscribe and I'll see you again soon.